tell the people it's a natural fact Every man don't understand the Bible are like that's all I'll tell you that's all Cause you better have Jesus I'll tell you that's all Well the denomination have no right to fight They all go on treat each other right That's all I'll tell you that's all you better have Jesus, I tell you that's all. They're fighting each other, think you're doing well. Then it's on the outside, can go to hell, that's all. I tell you that's all. Cause you better have Jesus, I tell you that's all. Stand apart when none will enter heaven but the pure in heart. That's all. I tell you, that's all. Cause it's about to have Jesus. I tell you, that's all. Some people preach and they do very well. They take all your money and go to hell. That's all. I tell you, that's all. Cause it's about to have Jesus. I'll tell you that's all Jesus coming back on this fighting day Taking in the sheep, turn the goats away That's all I'll tell you that's all Cause you better have Jesus I'll tell you that's all Cause you better have Jesus I'll tell you that's all Give me another amen. So that was my version of Denomination Blues, originally recorded by Washington Phillips in the late 20s. And well, I urge you to listen to the original. It's a quite uh, ethereal sounding song because it doesn't play the guitar, neither the ukulele, but the dulciola, a very strange instrument. And in the video description below, please open that. You will find links to the tap, other versions and general information uh, that will make you happy, I hope. So let's start with a song. First of all, I'm tuned in high G tuning, but I'm a half step low. So we have a G sharp, a D sharp, a B and an F sharp. Left hands wise, this is a very easy song. Just an F, a B flat and a C chord. Three chords, that's it. And a few free handing, but we'll explain that later. And I played finger style, well, finger picking style, and I regard the third and fourth string as my bass strings, and I'm alternating between these two the whole song. There are no melody notes on these strings, so, and the melody notes are played on the first and the second string. And I play with two fingers, but you can play this with one finger as well, so, thumb and index, it works. But I'm used to playing with two fingers, so that's why I do it. I more or less assign the middle finger for the first string and the second finger and the first finger for the second string. Not always, but well, it's a sort of general rule that can be broken. So let's start with, uh, with the song. You can download the tap, I told you that, and let's do it. And I just played uh, the verse accompaniment very slowly. Starting with an F chord, and you see my pinky does most of the work. You can do that with your third finger, not at the fourth fret, I think, but eventually I use my pinky also for the first string, third fret, but you can do that with the third finger. When it comes to fingering, I always say do whatever works for you, 
and as long as you don't make well any mistakes if you make the same mistake at the same spot then it's time to review either the left or the right hand because there's something wrong there so you see a downwards going arrow, arrow and I strum down with my two fingers held together a bit like that you can do a thumb strum uh, um, strum downwards also works also and there in the fourth measure I'm bending up and down and you see that the last beat the open uh, third string is between parentheses and um, you can play it or you can you don't have to play it so that fourth measure sounds sorry you can do that and simply don't play the bass well bass uh, for one beat and then go to the B flat chord or you can play you can keep on the bass all the time as well then we go to our B flat chord and I'm taking well good care of not playing the open first string. You can do twice um, on the second and the fourth beat of that fifth measure with a down uh, thumb strum. But it's, it sounds cool that those two strings uh, ring at the same time. So if you play only the bass you're missing something and also I would like to stress that the alternating bass I'm not playing that hard it's not like that it's very softly it's a, a sort of rhythm indication like that okay so we were at the fifth measure bending that again a bit like that not a full bend like that but like that and again that uh, seventh measure you can play the open uh, first string or just the three following strings second third and fourth uh, when I'm singing I don't play the open string often it's not a must so Seventh measure. And then we go to our C chord. I take care of sounding that second string as well. I do it with two fingers like that, but you can do upstroke like that. I'm gonna play it with two fingers in, in a minute so you can see that. And that's a free handing fifth fret. You can bend that slightly. So I'm going to do the F, open. So I'll play it now with just two things. Well, I'll try. You see it works you don't need that second finger in this song I'll play it one more time and uh, add a little bit of vocals uh, so you can hear where the words uh, fall and of course singing is uh, different for every person not everybody uh, talks well the same way luckily and you might stress other words there's no harm in that uh, try to sing it as natural that it comes for you I wanna tell you people it's a natural fact Every man don't understand the Bible and like that's all I tell you that's all Cause it's about to have Jesus I tell you that's all You see the words are often um, supported by melody notes 
Okay, um, we have a solo, which is a, a bit of a variation of the accompaniment, and I'll try to play that slowly now. So again, that uh, F chord with the pinky on the fourth fret. And notice that I'm not leaving my pinky there. I'm, I'm, I want to keep that fourth fret second uh, string short, that sound. If you leave it there, you get a, a dissonance. Uh, And the pinky does all the moving around, in my case. Well, let's try it with a third finger. Works too. So... And then we move the whole chord two frets up. to our F. And here we have a little couple pull-offs. One more time, slowly. So we have the F in the 23rd bar. F, F7, sorry. Um, at the third finger, B flat, and all open, F. Now I did very few variations, only I think in the last verse, where uh, in the, um, the chorus, that's all, I, I, I fool around with that. Um, uh, third thing, uh, let's do it. Jesus coming back on the dividing day, taking in the sheep, turning goats away. That's all. I did that song, or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but you see, you could fool around uh, with that. I, I stopped the bass and that's all like that, or something like that. So, um, what did I do as well? Oh, yeah, in the last, uh, I reprised the last sentence of the chorus. So, what I did. So, fifth fret. Third string, open second fret, bending that third fret. Now, just a little, well, you can do variations here, and you can always play open strings when they're followed by, let's say, the end chord. So, I'm gonna give you an example. there. Sounds always good. And then I slide it to the fifth fret and pull off like that. F7. Okay, that's about it I guess for Denomination Blues. Try to listen to the original and a couple other versions like for example um, uh, Ry Cooder made the song uh, popular again with his uh, recording on his second album in the Purple Valley. Uh, Valley. And uh, there are a couple other good versions out on the internet, so check it out.
Denomination Blues. <laughs> 